The delay was agreed to by both sides after a defense motion was granted for a neuropsychological evaluation of the suspect. In this case, it is 15-year-old Dylan Williams. He's accused of shooting and killing 13-year-old Lucia Bramer on March 26, 2021, back when he was 14. Among the charges are first-degree murder. CBS 6 is naming Williams as he's being tried as an adult in circuit court. One of Williams' attorneys told CBS 6 after the hearing that while his client has been ruled competent to stand trial, he may have suffered head trauma when he was younger, and this neuropsychological evaluation could assess what, if any, impact that may have had on his mental condition, like if he processes things differently than others and could open up new avenues of defense for them. Williams will be assessed by a doctor out of Hampton Roads. CBS 6 spoke with criminal defense attorney Ed Riley, who's not associated with this case, about the evaluation. Evaluation, and he says it's a new tool for handling cases potentially involving mental health issues from a law that went into effect in 2021. He says prior to that, people were either deemed sane or not. Now you have some diminished capacity issues, meaning if you have a mental illness that could have affected you at the time, although you may not be insane, that you that may have affected the decision making process that allowed you to commit that offense. Riley says mitigation is a good way to describe it as depending on the evaluation's findings, it could be used to argue a defendant doesn't meet the standards of a certain charge, especially in younger adults whose brains are still developing. It's still a little bit of a gray area in how exactly it's going to be utilized, but it should not lead to a not guilty in and of itself. Yeah. It's still something that the jury would consider and then they would determine whether there's guilt or innocence. Now, as mentioned, this new evaluation will lead to a delay in the trial that was scheduled for next month. Instead, there will be a status hearing on July 12th.